How's it going out there, everybody, in YouTube world? Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another guitar lesson. I'm your host, Logan Grendel. And as always, if you see anything you like in this video today, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below this video and to share with your friends. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about capos and how to use a capo, different kinds of capos, and why you would want to choose to use a capo, all right? So first things first, I have uh, two very popular kinds of capos. There are many different kinds, but I have the two most popular kinds with me today um, to show to you all. So the first one is a quick change capo. So, you know, <clears throat> these are, you know, relatively inexpensive. You can get one of these for under $20. This one is a Ernie Ball capo. There are many different brands that make capos similar to this, like Kaiser, uh, Diodario. Um, I'm sure, pretty sure Dunlop has one as well. Um, but yeah, this one is an Ernie Ball capo, and these are easier to use. They're just like a big clamp, you know, it's got this spring, and then you can just put it on wherever you want, take it off, you know, and it's just, it's real easy. That's why it's called quick change. And then I have another common type of capo with me, and that is a cradle capo. So a lot of people like to use these because they are more, they're convenient. Um, they're also lighter and smaller. They're not as bulky as the, you know, quick change kind. You know, you can put this on and it's not going to get in your way, you know. And then when you're done using it and you're, or you're not using it, you can just slide it up here back behind the nut and uh, there you go. So that's a quick change capo. And for those of you who are wondering, um, this brand of this one, there are many different brands. Um, this one is a page capo. Get it up here so you can see. The exposure is weird, but I'll try to put links down below so you can uh, grab one if you'd like one. These are about uh, 30 to $40, so they're a little bit more expensive, but they're also great. So we're gonna talk about what a capo is. So a capo, after we talked about the different kinds, um, a capo is a device that stringed instrument players use, whether it be you know a guitar player, a banjo player, a mandolin player, that, that can, um, you can move it all around the fretboard of your instrument while, and you can play in different keys uh, while still playing in positions that you are familiar with. Like, you know, if you know G, C, or D, you know, you can play in any key with a capo, which by the way, I have some videos on chords in the key of G major, C major, and D major. And if you haven't seen those videos, go check those out before you watch this one, all right? So back to what I was saying. So let's say that you were going to play a song in the key of A major, but you weren't familiar with chords in the key of A, or you might not be very comfortable with playing them. So it would be as simple as just taking your capo and putting it on the second fret. And another pro tip before we get further into this video is you don't want it to be, you want it to be straight and you want to have even distributed pressure on all the strings. You don't want it to be like this or, or crooked or in the middle. You want it to be like right on the fret or just barely behind it, all right? That'll give you the best intonation and the best tonal quality out of, your, out of your guitar. So anyways, so now that we have our capo on the second fret and we play our G, C, and D chords, we're now playing in the key of A. So what that is, it's like we now have an A chord, a D chord, and an E chord, but we're playing a G, C, and D shape, all right? So, and a good way to think about it, if you wanna figure out where to put your capo and what chords to play is to think about where the root note is on your, where the root note of each of your chords are. So for instance, let's say that you know that this, this is G. So the reason why it's G is because this is the root note, which is G. 
So if you wanted to play an A, and you know that A is a whole step up from G, so that's here. So that's the same as if you played the chord here, but you have to have something fretting these two strings, you know? So you have put your capo on the second fret, and now you have A, all right? But it's a G shape, all right? So moving on, I'm gonna talk about, let's say that you we're going to play in the key of uh, F. So you would, you know, you could do it one of two ways. All right, uh, a more pop prominent way is this way. Um, so you know that this is D. All right. So you know that a whole step up, which would be putting your capo on the second fret, would be E because you know that there is a whole step difference between D and E. So that is E. But if you wanted to play an F, you know that there's a half step between E and F, so you just move it one more up, and there you have F. And you use your D, G, and A chord shapes. But now you have a F, a B flat, and a C, all right? but it's familiar shapes, all right? And then the other way that you could play in the key of F, if you didn't want to play in um, D position, is if you, let's say you like to play in C position better and you want to play in F. So the way you'd want to do that is you know, so you know that here's your C, all right? So then a whole step up is D. All right, and then another whole step up would be E. All right, so then a half step would be F. All right, so then you would put your capo on the fifth fret, and now you have chords in the key of F, but you have your regular C, F, and G shapes. All right. So I hope that video helps you get started on how to use a capo and how to understand where to put your capo to play in what key you wanna play in. As always, if you see anything you like in this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you all on the next video. See ya.